like quite abstract harmonics within these sounds. So if you put that with the high and the low, they sound like they live together, like they mm. are part of the same organism. What was the inspiration for Love Flows? Were you walking down the road again? No, this was a little sadder. I think, um, so I'd been working on um, various other projects at the same time. So I've been working on Coldplay stuff as well, which is something I've been doing for 14 years now. And um, I've been making sounds for them and um, playing them on stuff that hasn't been released actually um, yet. But And I was also working on um, a project called Wave Paths, which is actually an app designed for psychedelic therapy. Um, um, therapists are able to choose with a sort of generative AI engine um, the kind of music that their patient needs for where they're going in their journey. And um, so I was playing around with sounds for that and at the same time working in the pop world a bit. So, uh, you know, it's kind of in between these two areas. And um, one of the sounds I was making for Wave Paths had a kind of offshoot sound that just, I just started playing with that of instinct and it turned out to be um, the starting point for this track. So that was once a piano, <laughs> <laughs> as, are, as are many of these sounds. Um, and if if it works, I could just leave this playing and add the other mm. elements in. Yeah, so That'd be great. so this is a good example of um, the thing I was just talking about with welcome, where you have um, many elements that make up what's supposed to be one sound. So this is the low element, and then there's a high element. on its own sounds like that um, so if I skip forward to where that's louder you can hear there's this high element in there and then there was another fluttery sound which and to give it some life in the top end. Mm. I don't actually know what the origin of this sound was. It could be anything. And then to go with that, so that on its own, sorry, it sounds like. And it's moving around a lot, isn't it? It moves around a lot, yeah. And then there was its accompanying sound, which was made on a made on Ableton's vocoder originally. I think it's probably a vocoding of this ring mod sound. Um, there's a lot of notes in there, actually. Yeah. Kind of, I like this idea of um, using like quite abstract harmonics within these sounds. So if you put that with the high and the low, they sound like they live together, like they mm. are part of the same organism. And wh when you're creating them, mm. um, you disappear off trying to seek that high sound and then come back and then try yeah, well, it out with the, the deep sound. Yeah, well, I think um, maybe one of the most common methods I use is to take something that's there and then process it into the next thing. So it's possible that some of these sounds are, version, are mm. you know, versions of the original sound that have just been taken really far away from it. Because I found that, like I say, it almost doesn't matter what the source is if you're using this amount of processing. So then there's another sound called water layers, which this is really nice on its own, actually. So because I, I found that this original sound, um, like it's very aquatic, um, and it has quite a lot of these unusual harmonics in it. Um, so this watery layer, which I'll turn up a bit is very celestial and it kind of was supposed to take it just to make sure that there was enough clear chordal information for the listeners so that you could you could feel the melody as it slowly unfolds yeah I mean 
Sometimes you listen to these things on their own, and I just think that it make quite a nice track. Just this would be a nice ambient track. Just this stem yeah. on its own. 